You know, I talked to some of the old, old time Steeler football players in the 70s. They were saying, man, you couldn't walk down the street during the day, you know, because the soot and the waste from the coal plants and from the steel mills were, you know, it was like a volcanic ash, you know, and you wore a white shirt, you had to change your shirt, called a two-shirt city. Now it's not that. I think many Pittsburghers felt we had kind of conquered air quality because we ridded ourselves of our smoky past. We have some of actually the worst air quality in the country, of any city. Um, so while it's it's not dark and smoky the way it used to be, it, it still has an impact on our health. So the people and the children are being exposed to uh, exterior pollutants as well as pollutants that may be created by um, say the furnaces that they're trying to keep the house warm. You can see a direct correlation between air quality and health in children in the city of Pittsburgh. You know, if you're sick, you can't go to school. And if you can't go to school, you're not educated. If you're not educated, you're not going to get a good job. If you don't have a good job, you can't sustain your family and you can't progress in life. How energy efficiency, you know, I guess improves this is, you know, when you, when you have, uh, you don't have mold in your house, when you don't have other chemicals and byproducts coming from poor um, HVACs, poor lighting, you, you, you mitigate all of those uh, barriers and really erase all those barriers. My furnace was the original furnace from when we built the house and it was 37 years old and it was on its very, very, very last legs. Heat is very important for fibromyalgia. I'm in extreme pain if I'm not warm. I thought they would come in and repair my furnace. They came in and lo and behold, <laughs> they gave me a brand new furnace. I was just absolutely floored. Having the new furnace on and having heat everywhere was just so much different this year. And I just felt so much better. When we got the dehumidifier in my daughter's room, it seemed that she wasn't sick continuously like she had been before. It was just a total, total godsend. I mean, I, I just never, ever expected that we would get something like that. It was just like Christmas. Pittsburgh is starting to really push the needle a little bit and having those conversations and talking about how do we get our residents um, in better living conditions. And I think a city like Pittsburgh has all the pieces to really be a great example at a national level uh, and to really shock the world as it relates to that and say, you know, look what we did, look at the impact we made, look at the steps we took to really make our residents' lives better and our community and the people of Pittsburgh lives better.